And now, another episode of Crit Camp Gaming. Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. It is June 7th, 2022. Welcome back to the Best Camp on Twitch. I'm Lyle, and we are back, finally, to playing Return of the Oberdin. I want to apologize for the delay in getting this back to stream and for not sort of streaming the last couple of weeks. Um, I was happy to come back last night with Matt and Dylan to continue our Arkham Horror LCG uh, Arkham Monday nights. So that was nice to come back to that. It's been two weeks since we played that. But i um, been really enjoying that campaign, but man, is it savage. So if you guys haven't checked that out, uh, we did, uh, it was a little bit of a longer stream. That that scenario we played last night was was rough, really rough. But the fact, um, the reason why I didn't stream at all last week, I did the, the Monday, wait, no, yeah, it was a holiday on Monday, and then I had to cancel both the, uh, the Tuesday, and then Chris had to do solo on Thursday. Um, I'm, uh, I got COVID, guys. So two two weekends ago, I went to a wedding in Knoxville. I'm, I talked about it a little bit last night, if you guys were around. Um, went to a wedding in Knoxville and got got, dude. So after two, uh, two plus years of, of dodging it, never getting it, go to a wedding, celebrate uh, a good friend of mine uh, getting married, uh, good friends of mine getting married, and then um, got hit. And, uh, you know, I know about... 10-ish, 11-ish people uh, that went to that wedding as well that, that got hit. So we all got got. Um, so it took, took last week to sort of rest and recover and all that good stuff. But, um, you know, feeling feeling all right now. A little congested. You could probably hear it a little bit. Um, and I'll be sure to try to mute my mic for coughs and clearing my throat. Like, I'm going to clear my throat like right now. So hold on. So hopefully I got that mute in in time. And um, yeah, we're going to be back to the return of the Oberdin. Um, so if you guys were sad or um, feeling like I might not come back to this, I need to know what the ending is. Like, I, I just need to know. And I've been having so much fun with this. And um, everybody watching on YouTube have been really helpful with the encouragement and also the comments about um, sort of tips and tricks and stuff like that. Um, I can't remember everything that I read, but I remember one specific thing that someone in, um, and I can't now I can't remember who it was that sent it to me. But they said that in the log, I'm able to write down who I think what, what people's jobs are, even if I don't know their name. So um, I thought I always like needed their name. But I can say like, oh, unknown person is a purser. Unknown person is a top man. Um, and so I can sort of help myself like figure things out. So since this is episode six and it's been a few weeks since we actually streamed this game, a lot of this game is going to be a little bit of a catch up. Oh, and thank you so much for the resub session. Appreciate it. Um, a lot of it's going to be sort of a catch up trying to figure out where we've been. Um, I know the last time we streamed this, we actually went back into one of the stories, the one where, um, it's one of the early stories where a bunch of people are sleeping in hammocks. And I think that has a lot of information for me because everyone's sleeping in number, um, in tagged hammocks and the number on their hammocks corresponds to their number on the, um, I was gonna say the cast list, but it's, what is it? The passenger list, I guess, or the, um, what are they, what are they called? Uh, manifest, I guess. Um, so, so I think there's a lot of like, information like that that I can glean from the past flashbacks that I kind of just need to dive in. I think we're at the point now where I'm starting to group people by who they're hanging out with in the pictures, who they're hanging out with in the memories, um, and by job. Um, so, uh, as Ashton said, yeah, the DOA, yeah, the death list. Um, so, yeah, so I, I think if I can sort of put people by jobs, then it'll help me narrow down who everybody is. There also is that one dude with like the lady tattoo in his arm. Like, so there's all these little details now that I just need to put together. Um, so we shall see. We'll sh we shall see. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, 
I hope everyone's been playing lots of games and all that good stuff. I did mention last night that um, I got sucked into that Asmodee Keyforge sale. Um, bought a bunch of Mass Mutation decks I'm going to split with Chris. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> and now I'm also grinding back from level zero on Hero Realms now that that's been officially released. So there you go. Um, all right, let's jump into this, and I'll, I'll keep chatting with you guys. But actually, hold on. I owe some spins, uh, including Zession, who just who just uh, resub right now. But I owe spins. I owe four of them from last night. I don't know who's in chat right now, but let me get these over with, and then maybe I can do um, some of the fitness because we do have like 120 push-ups that we owe. So hold on. So we're going to do uh, a spin. The first spin for Reld is right here. So Reld uh, resubbed last night during Arkham Horror, so I couldn't do the spin last night. Uh, that campaign took, uh, that scenario took a lot out of us. Uh, making it rain. So let's do that. Zession's asking for the beans. Uh, we're going to spin a wheel for ETG. What? Why is my... I clicked the wheel spin music. Did you guys hear it or no? Let me check. Hold on. I want to check how this is routed. Okay. I think that got kind of weird. Hold on. There you go. There you go. I knew something was wrong. <laughs> Alright. This one's for ETG. Uh, thank you so much for the resub ETG. Hopefully it was like a legit resub. There's a bean for Chris. Uh, which means there's a bean for me because he's not here right now. Oh, Zesha says now here. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, we're going to spin a wheel for Dr. Aardvark. And then we have two more spins after this. Uh, one will be for Yemen. One will be for Zeshin. So I might have to eat a bean. Probably going to do some fitness. That's another make it rain. Okay. Here you go. Spin for Yemen. Thank you so much for the resub, pal. I feel like it's been a while since I spun the wheel. I guess it's been a while since I streamed. Uh, another bean for me, even though it says bean for Chris. And then now we get to the resub from Zession. Thank you again. This one's for you. Get the old dispenser out. Wow, make it rains. Lots of lots of make it rains. All right. Yeah, Zeshin, you did call it. You said beans, and I got two beans. All right. So, oh no, stink bug was the first one that came out, and I believe the other one's Peacher Barf. So this isn't gonna be fun at all. Okay, I didn't get the stick bug. I got toasted marshmallow and peach. Boom, boom. There it is. Yeah, he says a chance it isn't stink bug. I, you know when you get the stick bug. <laughs> it's the worst one. Um, all right, and since we're here, it's been a while since I did fitness. But if we can just get this, um, I'll do like 20 now to get it like triple digit. And then by the end of the stream, I want to be under, under triple digits here. So where is that music? There it is. Oh, I'm tired. Maybe we don't do that today. <laughs> All right, we are going to hold on before I switch this. 
Let's get the music going on. Tab. We're back. Hold on really quick. Okay. Get out of here. All right. Oh wow! Look at this, man. We played for almost 11 hours. Last time we played was May 10th. Oh my gosh, 36 fate solved, so 36 of the 60, so we are a little bit more than halfway. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh my god, where are we? Oh, we must have been going through that scenario. Okay, hold on, where are we? Um... How do I get back to the... There you go. Yes. We need to remember how to work work the book here. Um... Oh, right, right, right. Who's cargo? The cold. Murder. The calling. Unholy captives. Soldiers of the sea, the doom. Missing portion, and then the escape in the end. Okay. All right, I'm up in the main deck right now. Right, 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 right. I think this is where we want to be. All right, so third mate. We don't know what happened to the third mate. Oh, come on. Um. We don't know what happened to... Well, the bosun's mate. We knew... Got torn apart. In the Doom. So, we just figure out which one, of that, which one is that guy. The Frenchman. Um, we think the conductor guy is the purser. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Met an unknown fate. Who is Duncan McKay? I think you are, Bam. Gunner's mate. Hmm. Okay. Emily Jackson and Miss Bird. Okay. These were passengers that, did, that were on the skate boat with the surgeon, Henry Evans, who sent us this book, who's alive and well in Africa. So if we find the surgeon really quick, and I almost want to put their faces the same. So he's alive in Africa, right? It seems like they could also be alive in Africa. Okay. Something's wrong because I have three here. So this purser was shot with a gun by John Davies. I feel like that's pretty known. Alive in Africa might be alive somewhere else. Okay. Ship steward, Philip Nall. He got sent to the Lazarette. Don't know what happened to him. These stewards have no idea. You were, um, you were knifed by, by Duncan. I think that's who it was. Something's wrong there.
something's wrong in my in my case. Let's look really quickly here at the sketches. I think he's the purser because people with funny hats or fancy hats tend to have um tend to have the jobs. But He's standing next to Christian Wolf, who is the gunner. Do we think he's the gunner's mate? Who is the gunner's mate? Gunner's mate is a Polish fellow, but we've heard Duncan talk. Was he Scottish? Hmm. Where did we hear this guy talk? Let's look. There's no reason to deck that. I think it's the escape one or two. Yeah, I think it's the escape, like, part two. Hmm. Back here, we're gonna go to the escape. Oh, thank you so much for the resub, Dragon Cat. I'm gonna ship tab out of here, write your name down. Dragon Cat. Sweet. Uh, alright. Location of the corpse is... Over there. Alright. This is not... Uh, we are gonna go all the way back and start to do the, the jobs thing, but I kinda wanna... Quickly see, um... The dude's accent. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last one. So I think this is the wrong from It's the wrong memory. Um Yes, this one. That one is location of the corpse and deck down there. Okay. I'm one too late. Hold on. Yep. Get off. Captain Cameron. You have a plan? Yes. Take ship for the same coast. Great regimentation shells. Hey, who's there? Yeah. Mutiny! Mutiny! Alright, that audio is really low for me. Um It was hard for me to tell what the accent was. Um, that guy is the fourth mate. And that's confirmed, this fourth mate, right? Yes. That's conductor.
So yeah, so the one that says enough, Captain can't be trusted, we take the ship, sail east, trade wretches fish and shells for gold. Yeah. I couldn't really hear the accent. Okay. I think what we're gonna do is... Let's go back and think about a bitter cold. I think a bitter cold, this one is where we need to be. Or lip deck down here. Is it really that guy or is it that guy? I think it's this guy. Sayed is 54. We brute forced these uh, these guys from India, but and we figured out what this all numbering system was earlier. We probably could have figured this out because we figured out this guy was and Fred, and then Abraham. Okay, and we got the fates of all th of all four of these guys, right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, okay, hold on. We need to go. <clears throat> so down here, chilling is these four dudes and they're all just regular seamen okay and they're 51 52 53 54 so confirms the numbering right uh we're not going anywhere here and what part of the ship are we in right now we are in the middle here of the gun deck so who gets to be across from the seamen over here? We have 58, 56, 55, 56, 57, 58, okay. Can we figure out anybody who's here? Except for the fact that they're just here. Any other clues? Okay, so that's 51, 52, 53, 54 across the way, uh, 55, 56, 57, 58, another four set of seamen, um, Sierra Leone, uh, two Englishmen and an Irishman, one of those Brennan, that's interesting. Um, so where's Brennan and O'Hagan? in the picture. Where's Brennan? Brennan is here. And O'Hagan was there, interesting. And so who are we looking for? We're looking for a dude from Sierra Leone and somebody else. And who? And Alexander Booth. 
who is an Englishman. Okay. All right. Then we get the three Russians. You are Leonid the top man. You are uh, Allah, sea man, and Alexei. So three of the shooters are down here. And those are your three bunks. One, two, three. Okay. Then we have number 37. What does that say? Number 43? 42 and 37. Forty-two is Nicholas Butterell, and thirty-seven is Timothy Butement, Scottishman. So Timothy is the one with the lady tattoo. Top man and top man. So. So top men over here, seamen over there. Uh, we have 36 over here by himself. 36 is another top man from Persia. And over here we have 39, 40, 41, 38. 38, 39, 40, 41, and a 59. That's weird. Uh, 38, 39, 40, 41. So we have all the Chinese top men here in this section, plus George Shirley, which is interesting. Why would there be a regular seaman hanging out with a bunch of top men? So, you're one of the top men that got electrocuted. Um, oh, okay. This could be a top man section over here. So the cook and the butcher hanging out. These are the four Indian guys. Passengers. Gamblers. Russians. Do we think these are all top men? Hanging out back there. These are all stewards. We need to figure out who these guys are. Whoops, whoops. Yeah, this is, I think this is what we have to figure out. Who's this dude? Okay. Um, I think we're going to go up to the Doom, dude. Um, I think that's where we need to be now that we got some information here. I think the Doom is where everything starts to go crazy. Or, no, Soldiers at the Sea. Where's where that dude got electrocuted? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Location of the corpse is on the main deck over there. Got it. We're gonna have to brute force, I believe. This, uh... The Chinese dude that got electrocuted. unknown top man but I think we know so Huang you could be Huang Li oh beautiful so which one did we get done the so Huang Li was top uh, was the top man was electrocuted okay and the guessing that Emily and both bird when uh, we're alive in Africa because the surgeon was alive in Africa. Which means that the purser is incorrect, dude. That dude isn't the purser. That dude isn't the purser. So who is he? Is he the gunner's mate? He's standing next to the gunner. What jobs, what other jobs are there? Okay. He can't be the bosun's mate. Um, he, I tried him as the helmsman, so maybe he is the gunner's mate, dude. There's nobody else that, no, he's not a steward, right? No, 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 no. Okay. I think we're going to say that that dude right here, hold on, hold on. You're not the purser, dude. You're the gunner's mate. Which means, oh my god, where's that midshipman? You are not. Okay. What other thing can we do to see if that's right? Uh, we're close to anybody else. I guess if we can get one in, one more of these top men, we can figure that out. Yep, we need one more. One more to, 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 to test. Okay. Uh, who is involved in this Soldiers of the Sea Part 1? Top men, Lars, Brennan, unknown, unknown, unknown top men. Okay. Okay, okay. Demon, top man. Okay, hold on, let's see. Who's up here? <sighs> we don't even know what happened to you. Okay. Ah, uh, Jimmy. Jimmy, who could you be? You're obviously a top man, dude. Is your name Lewis? Is your name Maba? Uh, Wei Li, Ji Zhang. You're an unknown top man, dude. Okay. Yes, this is where you can start putting people's jobs. This is this is how you do it. You're an unknown. You're an unknown top man. Okay. Okay. We're just adding. We're adding information. Come on, zoom into you. You are an unknown top man as well. Okay, 
we know who you are. Aha! Uh -huh. Top man. So one, two, three, four. How do I get down, dude? So four, five, six, seven, seven top men. Uh, and we have, hold on, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So seven of the ten are here. Um, seven of the ten are here. Somebody's from New Guinea. Someone's from Persia. There is the dude with the turban. Um... And the dude, and Jimmy with the tattoos. So like, is he, he's different than everybody else. Can I just assume that you're somebody? Let me say that you are from Persia. Um, not from Persia, New Guinea. Did I already do it wrong? Let's say that you are from New Guinea. Oh, what did we get? Okay, so that he's from New Guinea. He was torn apart. Oh my god, he's the gunner's mate this whole time. Okay. Okay. Okay, we are doing it. We are doing it. Um, okay, let's figure out some more. So we have two Chinese top men, uh, two, wait. Yeah, we have an Englishman, two Chinese top men, Scottish guy and a Persian guy. I think we know who the Persian guy is. Over there. These two are the two unknown Chinese top men decapitated by a terrible beast. So I can sort of, if we just say you're Zhang for now, and say that you are Wei Li. At least can get when I get two more people, I can sort of figure that out. And oh, let me look at everyone's arms, dude. Because who is 37? You're Topman from Scotland. I already know who you are. It's unknown Topman. But do you have unknown topmen, but you're not but you're not Timothy. So you might be Lewis, dude. Cause you don't have a you don't have a tattoo on your arm. Unless I, I don't see that. Dude, I'm getting a lot of information. I don't know if any of it's right, but I'm getting a lot of information here. <clears throat> I just made a lot of assumptions. So we know who that guy is. Don't know who this guy is. Why isn't Timothy up here? Why 
Why isn't Timothy up here? How can we find that dude? This guy. You. You're hanging out with the rest of the top men. You are... That's who you are. Okay. Alright. Unknown. 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 It was Timothy. I have no effing idea. He is yet to be... He is yet to show his face. Okay. Who's this guy? Yeah, is there more? How do I get down? Can I not get down from here? There's a lot of information here. Um, soldiers of the snow. Okay, so top man, top man, two, three, four. Uh, a seaman, a seaman, top man. Unknown dude, unknown dude. Top man. Top man. Who's this dude? Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> Soldiers of the Sea, part two. This is a top man. Nikki top man over here. It's speared by this boy. Who is this? This looks like Lars. That looks like... Nathan Peters. I don't know what happened to you. Him. Who are you? Everyone's arms right now. Oh, who's this dude? Oh, yeah, you fell from the sky. Oh, this guy. Who are you, dude? You're just some random. Demon over here. This looks like Brennan. That's Brennan. Huh. Okay. Hold on. Let's look at the cast. <clears throat> so two uh, two top men died here, but most of these guys are seamen. Peters is there, Lars is there. And these are all. Hamandau from Sierra Leone. We still have no idea who he is. We know that he's Peters. Okay. We don't know who Hamadow is. We don't know Alexander Booth, and we don't know George Shirley. Can we assume that this guy is Hamadow? The memories has he been on? Holy captives. I mean, are these all 
Are these just semen? No, you could be a top man, dude. Is there a top man that I don't know about yet? I think there is, right? Oh. Let me see your arm. Are you wearing sleeves? What? Okay. So hard, dude. So hard. Okay, um... We kind of guessed who you were. We don't know who you are. Um... Not you. You guys can be trying this out so far. That man was clubbed. We're saying that you're Lewis. We're trying that out. So that dude must just be a C man. That dude's just a seaman, then he might be Alexander Booth or George Shirley. That's uh, too many people. Not enough for information. Okay. Um, you're a seaman. Seaman. C man. Let me let me let me see this. Let me look at your face. You look like a George. I think you're an unknown C person. Yeah, I think these are all If that's the case, you're probably an unknown seaman too. <clears throat> and you are an unknown seaman. But I'm gonna say that you are known. Uh, all right, one of you is George, one of you is Alexander. Just have no idea who's who. Okay. I really want to find who Timothy is, man, with the with the lady tattoo. Okay. Uh, where are we? We're going to look at Soldiers of the Sea Part 3. Location is on the gun deck. I'm currently standing where? Right there, next to those stairs. Okay. Uh, I want to be here. So Nick was the top man that got him uh, last time. This is Carpenter's mate who said, I got him boss. And then this is the Carpenter who's the boss. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me know him. He was spiked. Okay. Um... Demon out of the way, beat to quarters, enemy board, what's going on? Stay back, it's already done for Nick. Come on, boss, no get down, hey catch, cause he as he throws the axe. Uh he is there. This unknown dude. Uh fourth mate. Carpenter seaman. One, two, three, four. Interesting that all of them are there like that. Plus, Nate and that guy. Okay. 
Oh, hello. Okay, yeah, Nate's over here. One, two, three. There's three more people around. Where are they? Lars, always getting hurt. Fancy lad. Yeah, who's fancy lad, dude? Because who's left? He's not an officer. Could be a Frenchman, dude. Minor McKay. He could just be a steward, dude. He does not look like a seaman. Bosun's mate, the purser, or steward. Bosun's mate, purser, or steward? Oh. Are you the fourth mate, steward? Davy James? Perhaps, I mean, he's standing right next to his dude. Um, his first mate, Steward, just chilling there. Second mate, Steward. Okay. This dude, somebody's Steward. You might be third mate, Steward. Captain Steward's up here. You might be third mate steward, dude. Oh! Who do we get? So he was a third mate steward, okay. Nice. Oh my god. We got him? Oh my gosh. Okay. Woo! I'm really happy that they let you do this in, in terms of three because otherwise this, this would be impossible. Can you imagine if they didn't give you... Um, <laughs> Didn't let you know if you got things right. So, this is interesting now because all the seamen were almost there. So, Nate Peters, who's got revenge for his brother, we don't know what happened to him. And then we have the dude from Sierra Leone seamen, we don't know what happened to him. And then we have we only have two guys that we can't figure out who they are of the seamen. But we know who their face is. We just don't know who, who goes to who. We're looking for the dude with the tattoo to be Timothy. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And I guess we guessed right on this, uh, on who these guys were. So we're just looking for the dude with the uh, the arm tattoo. And we got all the stewards now. Except for the Indian ship steward. So we have to figure out who that guy is. Now there's still a purser and helmsman just hanging out. Who are those guys? They gotta be fancy lads, right? So... Are there any unknown fancy lads? You're a seaman. You're a top man. Bosun. 
Where's the bosun's mate, man? Where, where, where are you hanging out, bosun's mate? Seamen are all there. Gunner. Gunner's mate. Midshipmen. The three midshipmen hanging out together. These dudes are all hanging out together. Stewards are all there. Oh. We don't know who you are, huh? Oh. You are you are in similar garb. You are a steward. There's only one steward position left. Uh, helmsman, surgeon, fancy lad. Are you a bosun's mate or are you a purser? Are you a bosun's mate or a purser? You're the purser, dude. Look like you, you look like you, you look like, uh, you do some inventory, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we are getting, we are getting down to it. Top man, seaman, seaman. Who are you? Bosun's mate? Oh, who are you? Oh, I feel like I should know who you are. Or at least what job you're doing. Top oh, man, seaman, seaman, seaman. I get all the jobs in. Oh. He doesn't have a job either. Oh no. Okay. I think we're gonna get some people wrong here. Okay. <clears throat> I think we saw everybody that is part of this memory. I think I, w I might have went willy nilly on on. on on people, on labeling people here. Steward. Okay. Okay. We are leaving. Um. That's interesting. Why would it let me go here? Okay. How do I get out of here? One, two, three. Four, five, six, right? Six are present? Yep. How do I get out of this memory? <laughs> I would like to leave the memory, please. Oh. Nikki. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Part four. We're on the oral up deck. Going down. This guy is decapitated. Top man decapitated. Surgeon's mate decapitated. There are 15 people here. Top 
it's one, two. This guy is... Billy Butcher. That's three. Leave you the ship's captain steward. That's four. Can I get can I get around you? Thank you. Uh, you threw okay, number five. Number six. All the midshipmen. Number seven. Eight. Number nine. Number ten. Oh, you're the bosun's mate, maybe? Eleven. You're the gunner. Okay, that's all the people. We know who you are. We don't know what happened to you, huh, Peters? I just disappeared. Nobody that's unknown to me here. Except for that guy. Are you a seaman or are you not? Is there anybody else who was wearing something like him? I want to say you're the bosun's mate, dude. It's like hanging out with the bosun. I don't know. I don't know if that's right. Otherwise... You know what happened to you? We're assuming you're the ship's steward. Just because you're wearing the same things, everybody. The other stewards, you're top man. You are the three midshipmen. I think we're okay here. Yeah. I think we figured out who these guys are. How do I get out of here? The thing about these is you have to figure out how to get out of the memories, man. Get out of this freaking memory. Not there. The downstairs? Did I miss it?
There it is. <clears throat> All right. Um. Soldiers at sea, part five. Not sure what else I'm finding here. Is this where the midshipman burns? We are talking about 11 people just screaming. The carpenter, the bosun. I'm going to say he's the bosun's mate. We got three midshipmen. Oh gosh. First mate. Surgeon. Purser, maybe? You are making your way downtown. I don't think there's anything over there. Oh yeah. You got spiked it. Who are you? Yeah, you are you are tough to figure out, man. Um, yeah, he's got three triangles above his head. He's he's pretty hard to know who he is. I think I'm almost done with these soldiers at sea ones. I'm gonna finish this up, but Alright, yeah, we have two more. I have to go all the way to the port walk over there. Actually, how do I get out of this memory? Here. Spike did. There is eleven people. Oh, yeah, we can't figure it out. Thank you. 
I mean, we can't go further than this. I probably could have figured out who that, that, that dude was a guy's mate if I looked into that window and really saw what I was doing, what they were doing. <clears throat> All right. I do sponsor Paris simultaneously with a brave but unfortunate soul. We are in the bottom there. Can't get out of here this way. section. God mode. Thank you so much for the raid. We're playing uh, Return of the Oberdin. First time playing this game. We're on episode 6 of this run. Excellent. Gotta figure out some stuff. Thank you so much for the follows. Welcome to the best camp on Twitch. Okay. Alright, so this guy got killed by the beast. Oh. Who'd I bump into? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're saying that he's just a regular seaman. There's somebody under the stairs here? Who is that? Ah, Nate Peters. Okay. Oh, who is this? Jimmy? Yeah. Alright, so, um, Jimmy over here. How many people said they were present here? Five? Where's the, where's that dude? Who I think is the bosun's mate, but it's probably not. So it's five people are present, or six people, and it shows six people. That's like, what's going on? Oh, because there's somebody up there? Ah, that's where, that's where he is. All right. <clears throat> So we need we need to figure out where the dude with the lady arm tattoo is. Do we think that we should go and do the doom now? Revisit the doom. Huh? Uh huh. Hold on a second. Let's go back really quick and look at the crew manifest. Oh, 
we figured out who all the top men are. No, we haven't figured out who this guy is. How is it possible that we haven't figured out who that guy is? Um, so everybody's right except for the one Chinese top man, and the one Scottish, and the one Persian. Where are we going to be able to see that dude? What the heck happened to you guys? Alright. I also want to look at... This is going to seem a little odd, but I kind of want to go through really quickly... So that way we're missing what's happening to them, too. So part one, we got it. Bitter cold, this guy died, this guy died, large cow got killed, murder, the violinist died, that guy got shot, this unknown soul was shot. So we don't know who you are? Hold on, but you're hanging out with all the top men, dude. Dude, dude. You just chilling with the top man up there? Are you saying are you telling me you're not a top man? Dude, you're a top man. Oh dude, you you a top man, dude. And if you a top man, you Timothy top man, dude. Yeah, you Timmy top man. Okay. Okay. Let's see, how many people do we have uh, to, to check if we're right on things? Um, unknown, unknown. Shot by a cannon by unknown. I feel like we should be able to know this guy now. He died in the Doom part four. All right, so we might be going to Doom soon. Uh, hey, North Singh, thanks a lot. Don't know if that's sarcastic. <laughs> Uh, so if we can figure out what happened to the gunner, then we will have one to check. Um, we have another one, right? The steward got spiked. And unknown. Okay, something's wrong because we have three. Oh, no, no, no. We have to do, all right, let's figure out what the gunner happened and then we'll have three. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, so the Doom Part 4 is where we want to go next. Uh, the Doom Part 4. Oh, thanks, thanks, Northsay. <laughs> uh, oh, unknown seaman and met an unknown fate here. Okay, I definitely need to go here. So, we need to go to the gun deck on the uh, port side middle. We are hanging out at the Lazarette. Okay. Or left deck, gun deck. Is this where we're going? Is this yes or no? Yes. The Doom Part Four. Okay, so... The cannon went... This is the gunner. Got shot by cannons. Who lit the fuse? Who lit the fuse? Somebody underneath there. You have fire. So by Lewis Walker, the top man. Okay, okay. By Lewis Walker. Let's see if that is correct. Top man, Lewis Walker. 
Oh, something is wrong. One of those is wrong. Could you have been lighting the fuse? Maybe we need to go to so uh, the Doom Part 3. It looks like you lit the fuse, but... Could it really have been Brennan? I lit the fuse? Jimmy over here? Now, where is the other dude that meant Unknown Fate? Is it this? Crushed by a kit. That was correct. You are the gunner. And you are an unknown dude. So I think you're the unknown dude that had an unknown fate. Because you were next to the gunner. Did you get blasted as well? Abraham, did you like this? Abraham, you lit it, didn't you? Abraham, you lit the fuse. No? Jeez. Yeah, there's no way that you guys lit the fuse. Yeah, you guys were over here. There's a wall separating you guys. Yeah, Abraham, you did it. So, is this wrong? Christian Wolf, the gunner, was blasted by a cannon by Abraham. I feel like that's right. And we know this is definitely Abraham, right? Yes. Can we say that you, unknown seaman, Alexander or George, what if you were Alexander, and what if you were blasted, <laughs> uh, shot by a cannon, by Abraham, by accident? I mean, obviously, we're going to go back to part four to see what the heck happened here, but. Six people were present. You guys were over there. Yeah. Your job is to what? Oh, what happened to you? All right, yeah. You were the Russian brawler. Um. Jimmy, three, four, five, six, seven, six. Because <clears throat> you're dead. All right. Let's go back to part four, shall we? Are there are two bodies here, or there's one.
where'd the other dude go? I can't get in here, can I? The dude that was like behind him, man. Where was he? what it is. I mean, we all know, we know the fates of all these guys, right? <clears throat> am, I, am, I, am I hitting my first real block of the day? That was definitely Abraham, and this is definitely the gutter. He's definitely being shot, so let's look back at our crew list and see what the thing what what are we trying to test here? We're trying to test this one, Christian, the gutter, got shot by a cannon by Akbar. Um we were trying to test that this guy was a ship steward and he was spiked by a terrible beast. Now What if he was speared by the beast? Uh, okay. That doesn't really work either. I think I like Spike by the Beast, dude. Unless he was a different steward. I'm pretty sure that's who he is. And, oh yeah, we said that that guy was Timmy. <clears throat> Maybe he's not Timmy. He'd just be hanging out with the top men. I need to find somebody else. Maybe you're not Alexander. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> what if you're not Alexander? What if you are George? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. So George was blasted. Abraham, so was Christian. Got it. And... Timothy was shot. So, that guy's not the ship steward. That guy's not the ship steward. Um, this guy. He's an unknown steward. Now, if he's an unknown steward, there's only... Only one steward he can be. Ship steward. Unless I got one of the other stewards incorrect. So. <clears throat> We're saying he's the captain steward. Why do we think he's the captain steward? Because of that one story where they locked up in the lazarette, right? Uh, but he's even wearing an outfit, the fit of a steward, yeah. We know that that's right. We know that that's right. So first, second mate, steward's correct. Third mate, steward's correct. Fourth mate, steward. Hmm. Yeah, I think you are, dude. I think you are... The ship steward. Were you not spiked by a terrible beast? Uh, 
Huh. <clears throat> Pretty sure you were spiked by a beast, but... That's going to be rough. Okay. So we have an unknown... So wait. All the top men. All the top men are known. Except for how this guy died. And how this guy died. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And all the seamen... Almost known. Don't know what happened to Peters. Don't know what happened to uh, Amadou. We don't know who Alexander is. So Alexander could be the dude with the striped shirt, who I think is the bosun's mate. Um... Right. Are there anybody that's unknown to me? I need to look at the picture here. Now, pretty sure, oh wait, hold on. Yes, we don't know who you are. And you are hanging out with who? There's a bunch of semen? All right, George, or Alexander. <clears throat> so you're probably Alexander. Everybody's accounted for. There should be nobody that's unknown. It's crazy. True? <clears throat> Everybody should be assigned to somebody. Whether or not it's true or not. Yeah, that's the big question. The midshipmen. Okay. Okay, yes. Okay, let's go through the book again. You died, you died. Cow slaughtered. The violinist died. You, you got shot. Oh, this is where we left off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you were a top man. You were shot. Oh, there it is. There's the lady tattoo. You were speared. You were speared. Uh, you were knifed. You were clawed. You were burnt, you were shot, you were drowned, you were drowned. Okay. You were spiked by a terrible beast here. Unholy captives, okay. Uh huh. John Naples was killed with a sword by Philip Dahl, the Captain Steward. Okay, so that's how I know that guy's the Captain Steward. You got electrocuted. You were speared. You were spiked. You were decapitated. You were decapitated. You were burned. You were spiked. And you were spiked by terrible beast. Is that not right? This monster. Bark was crushed. Peter Milroy. Top man, okay. Right, right, right. Oh, okay. So this was the end of the doom. We don't know what happened to him. And we don't know what happened to him. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to how what happened to a lot of people.
So let me ask you guys in chat. Do I need to, I need to be able to fill in all of, every, all the information, right? I need to figure out everybody before I return this book, right? It looks like the doom is kind of a big deal. Fourth mate steward. Why would the fourth mate steward just leave with everybody? Davy James. Oh, because his dude was clubbed. Would he really leave the fourth mate? <clears throat> well, you are alive in Africa with everybody else on this list. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so everything's happening really in the doom. Third mate. I don't know where his memories are. Oh no, that guy can't be... Wait, he did disappear in the... All right, I think I need to go through the the doom and the end again because there's something about the boson's mate that got killed in the story for the end or the escape. So the helmsman. I think I have two. I have three things. Something's not right. So Alexander Booth got spiked. This guy got spiked. That's one for testing. Live in Africa, Davy James. It's two for testing. And the ship steward got spiked. That's three for testing. So one or all of those are incorrect. And I'm going to... Let me uh, really quickly take a bio break. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. Back. Um, 
I mean, what really happened to that ship steward, dude? I hate to have to go back to that uh, story. But, um, we have to figure that out. No, I think we're going to have to go through the doom and the end. What happened to you, Martin? That was minor. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve people left. And Man, we did a lot of work today. That's one unholy captives. That's where we have to go. Holy captives. Soldiers of the sea. That's two. Colony captives and soldiers of the sea. And then of the doom, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Wait a minute. Ten. Count of twelve here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't think the third mate is being shown. Yeah, the third mate isn't being shown at all. And is Nathan Peters not being shown? Hold on. Am I gonna have to like write a list here? Okay, hold on a second. No. Piece of paper here. We're getting we're getting we're getting down to it, guys. So uh we got twelve fates today. Need to do another another twelve. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Alex Booth is a seaman, and this is unholy captives. One. One. There is uh, Zungi, Sathi, in Soldiers of the Sea, part seven, it's two. Okay, we got Omid. Hot man. And he is in the doom. Uh, this 
disappearing. So is Nathan Peters. He's a seaman. So is Hamadel. All his dudes. It's like something happened to him. Uh, Duncan. McLeod. Uh, Wei Li. Top man. Finley, who is Ethan Helmsman, and Charles Minor, disappeared as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh, that's annoying. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then who's missing here? Oh yeah, the fourth uh yep, there he is, the fourth steward, Davy James. Fourth steward is in the escape disappearance. Okay, so of the crew. That I don't know. Alex Booth is shown. Amadou is shown. Nate Peters is shown. Wei Lee is shown. Omid. James. Philip Dahl. So we don't know what happened to Philip Dahl. And he is the captain steward. And I think it's the third mate. Finley is in this list. Duncan is in this list. Charles Miner's in this list. But Martin is not on this list. Okay. So. And you are the third mate. So that's interesting. So Philip Dahl, I believe, was locked up in the lazarette. Because um, <clears throat> he knifed somebody. Now, who did you knife? So I can sort of, like, trigger your memory. Killed somebody, dude. You killed John Naples. Kill John Naples. Now, where did you kill John Naples? Unholy Captives Part 4. Uh, so, 4, Part 4. That was the last time I saw you. Martin, the last time I saw you. Come on now. Martin, the last time I saw you was... Unholy Captives. Doom Part 8. Doom Part 8, yep. Okay. Doom Part 8. So, that's interesting. So most stuff is happening in the Doom. There are Philip Dahl's stories in the fourth chapter. Uh, Alexander Booth's is in the fifth chapter. Zungi's in the sixth. Everybody else is in the seventh. And then Davey's in the ninth. So, let's look... Quickly at, I guess, I guess we'll start from the beginning. Philip Dahl's story. Is 
in the fourth part four. No. I'm sorry, I think it's five part four. Yeah, it's five part four, my bad. So we have two stories happening in the fifth chapter. Which I guess we're going we're going in, dude. Um Main deck in the middle. Oh, am I still in the memory? Yeah. Okay, so you were spiked. You were translating for the captain. I think you were spiked, dude. Look at that. You were like you were, so you were spiked all the way through. I guess the question is, are you actually Alex Booth? Because who else could you be? You'd be oh, you could be Hamadou. What if you were, I don't know. Would that make any difference in? Are we at three? Oh yeah, we don't know if that's true or not. He spiked. If he is Hamadow, then who did I say was Hamadow before? Some dude that was not depicted in this. Where is he? I don't know where the other dude is. Okay. I think you were most definitely spiked, dude, right? It's like, what's happening to you? You're spiked. Yeah, there's nothing. It's just figuring out who you are. Okay, so. That was part one. If we go to part four, that's where Philip is. 
Actually, hold on. Who's who's present here? While I'm in here. <clears throat> oh. You. You, I said, was Hamadao, but... What if you're Alexander? I'm going to switch you to. Uh, Surgeon's Bay. Everybody. Everybody around. Okay. All right, let's go to part four. <clears throat> By the Lazarette. Okay. By the Lazarette. But I want to make sure. Of the seamen, is there really only like two that he could be? Because I pretty much got everybody else. Eight Peters, I know who that guy is. Yeah, Hamadow and um, and Alex Booth are the only two. That it could be of of the um, of the seamen. I don't think either of them's a steward. I don't think they're pursers or helmsmen, so. Yeah, I think one of them's Alex, one of them is. Okay. <clears throat> to the Lazarette. side of the ship. Keep pressure here. Hold him down. What madness is this? Twenty years, my steward, and never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Throw them back or doom us all. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? Okay. Jesus. 18 people are present on this. <clears throat> Alright, that's Philip Dahl. Who's being thrown into the lazarette? With those things? So it's like, where is he? How do I get to the, oh here it is. So what do we want to say happened to, to him? If he's in the lazaret with those things, <clears throat> what happens in the beginning of Soldiers of the Sea? Okay. Eve. There's something about going to the Lazarette, right? Okay. 
They make for the lazarette, secure the hold. Someone shoot the damn thing. So that's where Philip Dahl was. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. Okay. So what can we sort of assume happened to him that he's in the lazarette with those things? Can I not? Why can't I say what happened to him? Oh, I can't? Oh, that's interesting. I can't say anything. Something that happened to him. Is that the same thing with the, uh... Oh, yeah. I can't say, I can't, uh... Oh, interesting. I can't answer him. Are there more people I can't answer? No. I can answer you. I can answer you. You. Ah, so this is interesting. They're just people that are unknown. Okay. So well, that's the case. I don't have to waste my time here. Um... But the seamen that I, that I saw before, Hamadou or Alex. All right, <clears throat> so that was part five. Part six is when the ship steward gets killed. Let's look at that real quick. We started off the stream with this, uh, with this story. I believe it's going to be the Orlop deck. Hold on, I got it. partner okay um how do i get out of here there is it up here can anybody tell me where the exit is Okie dokie, we are going here, and up and around, and this guy died. If you are who I think you are. Then did you just get 
killed by somebody. You get spiked, I think. You get spiked, man. I think there's like a little spike trail right there. I want to say you got spiked, dude. I don't, I don't know if there's any way around that. Unless... You got shot by somebody. Oh! Could you have gotten shot by that dude? Who the hell is that dude? I think you got shot by that dude. We're gonna go to part six. We gotta go part six. Who are you? A gun. is over there yeah to go to part five. We are not in. Well, hold on. We might be able to see who it is. Coming across. Nope. We don't have a view of it. So we're going to go part four. Yeah. We need to go way across the other side of the ship. My bad. Uh, okay, that would be. What? Oh, no, no, no. Stay up here. Stay up here. Oh, I passed it. Okay. Oh, yeah, somewhere. Like... My boy got burned. boy Backwards in time until we find the shooter. Thank <laughs> you. 
anybody that has light glow on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was you, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think this is where it's at. Okay, we're gonna go back real quick. We're gonna say it was actually not spiked. You were shot with a gun by the boson's mate. There it is. <clears throat> Which means that, that guy is the boson's mate. Spiked and sweet. So that was a sewer alive in Africa. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Nine to go, baby. Nine to go. So who did we just get? We got uh, Zungi. Those are the three that we just got. Hamadow. Where, where were you at, Hamadow? Yes. Okay, so we can we can't do Philip and Martin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> There's seven people. Did you disappear, Alex Booth? I have you in part five, is that right? Five, five, one? <clears throat> no, I thought that was just Hamado. My bad. Five, part one is the one I just did, right? Yes, 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 yes. So you are actually, I need to go to part seven. Doom is where everything is at now. Um, um, Ed, Daniel, Ruth, yeah. <clears throat> Booth, Duncan, Whaley, Finley, and Charles. Yep. Everything's happening in the Doom. I can't believe everything's happening in the Doom. Sweet, dude. I guess we know what we're doing. We're going through the doom. Main deck port. Cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Before I forget, you killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Lies. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Okay. <clears throat> Lars got club, my friend. But this dude. We don't know what happens to, but he says he can't come on board. Alex is like in the purser. So interesting. So 
So Nate, Alex, and the purser. Yeah, and he's definitely the purser, because look, he got the books, dude. Fancy lad. They're about to escape. They want to go somewhere. They're like... And this guy's like, take me with you. And he's like, F no, dude. There's not enough room. It's the only people here. Now, when the doom hits, here's the question. Where are they? Let's see. They're here. Between the Azores and the Canary Islands. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to sail to from there? Yeah, where are you going to go? But, that's good to know. I need to put this in the... So, Peter's... Rowboat, seven part one, purser on the rowboat, seven part one, and so is Alex. <clears throat> okay. We're about to go somewhere. Okay, that was a part two. Part two. We go to the gun deck. Uh, where the the artist dies. by beast 13 people present here <clears throat> I keep track of a very specific few but nothing else to glean from over here right just big ass tentacles First mate steward. Okay, don't care about you. That's two of thirteen. Forty-three. Forty-three and forty-four are sleeping. Which are Topman. Okay. Which uh, which ones? Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy and Lewis. Where are we? Doom. Hey, Jimmy. Lewis.
Okay, so we gotta keep an eye on you. You're in here. Need to know you. <clears throat> so you're hanging out. Third steward with the third mate. Makes sense. Who is this? Nobody of consequence. So he's down here in the second. Okay. Mohammed is here. Who is he? What uh number is he? 36. 36. He is not here. No one's there. Where is he then? Build. One, two, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't see how so many people are here. According to this, where the heck are they? <clears throat> so you're just sitting down chilling. Who else do I need need to know? You're not here. Okay, you're up there. You're apparently here. I don't know where you are, but you're apparently here. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ah. What are you doing? Okay, then you guys found Lars here. No, stop looking at Lars. Oh, okay. Now, I guess the boat... Where did it go? The boat's gone. And you're looking for them. Okay, hold on, hold on. So the boat is traveling. Which direction does the boat go? We go that way, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if the boat is going that way, journey. So I think the boat is moving north and they're coming off the the port side, which is the left, so I think they're going to the Azores. <clears throat> right? Yep. I think they're going to the Azores. Okay. If that's the case.
what can we say about Alex, you were on the rowboat, and now you're no longer gone. So, you could be alive in the Azores, or you could have been, or you could have, been, you could have drowned. But what if we say you're alive on the Azores, dude? Would that be crazy? Who else was there? Duncan, live in the Azores. Dude. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So if they're not alive, axe burned, clawed, clubbed, crushed, kept. They could have drowned. Eaten. You expired. What the hell is expired? Loaded, fell, froze. Illness, killed, knife. Poison, shot, speared, spike, strangled, struck, suicide, torn apart. Okay. What if I say they drowned, dude? Okay, we don't have enough information. Whoops. Oh no. Unknown. Unknown. Oh no, okay. I thought we could do something cool there. <clears throat> Listen, we're only on part two. Part three is on the gun deck on the port side. Okay. Crazy things happen. Abraham, you got crushed. Uh, we're saying that there's six people here. All right, you both died uh, because he sparked it. Tentacles coming. Uh, you are Brennan. You are Lewis. You are Maba. And I believe that's it. So, in the doom, you guys got crushed. And this guy's coming out on the port side. So, <clears throat> in the beginning of this, they escape the boat over here. Boom, like that. Then, the artist dies in the back over here. Then these boys die over here. Now we're gonna go to part four in which this cannon gets um, gets shot, kills those two boys. Four people were present. You, you, well, you died. 
uh, you were over there. All the people that they know their fates. So I don't really need to be here because I know exactly what happened to all of you. What I need to know is what the heck is going on elsewhere. This side of the ship. On the gun deck behind me. Crushed, Wesley Crusher, Midshipman, Midshipman, Third Mate, Godric. There you are. There you are, and you're blocking my way up, right? Yep. guys were Is yeah. and we're saying five people were here, including the fourth mate, gunner's mate, two midshipmen. Ah, oh man, where, where are you? That's where we want to know. Oh. Okay, thrown overboard. Found, dude. Found by beast, dude. Or did he just fall? <clears throat> Fell overboard to his death. That feels more right. Death. We're looking for the top men, Wei Li, 
Helmsman Finley and Charles Minor, the bosun's mate. happening here oh yeah he exploded himself into this tentacle man and you're the gunner's mate you are the fourth mate Jimmy You tried to sell, save him, Tom. Okay. Yeah. I think he went overboard to his death. <clears throat> Two more parts. You show the corpse. Where's the look of this corpse? people present, including Lewis, Maba. Oh! How are you... How are you there? How are you there as well? How are you there? So those three... Midshipmen, Nate, Ozen... Oh, they're all here. Where is... Where the hell's Finley? Finley has not been in anything. So, one, two, three, Duncan Way and Charles. Okay, everyone's here, everyone's here. This is a big deal. <clears throat> All right, there is, hold on, 12 people over here. Oh, it's you. You are fighting. Oh. They're there. Interesting. Fall, do you fall overboard? Round by beast. Or did you fell? It's kind of weird. Fell overboard. <laughs> yep, and so did Nathan Peters have to do that one. <clears throat> it's so interesting how much information are in these scenes and you can only glean them by like coming back to them like after you have information. Um, so, it's like so, um, so satisfying. All right, so we have one, we know that's true. 
Good to figure out what happened to Wei Li. Wei Li and Finley. And Charles. Wei Li, Finley, and Charles. Okay. Okay, so those three. Um, cool. So, we know what happened to uh, Alex. We know what happened to Ahmed. We know what happened to Nate. Duncan. Yep, Whaley, Finley, and Charles. So, we know that Charles is here. Uh, where is our top man? Who are you? Oh, hold on. You're Martin. Okay, Martin's up here too. Good to know. There you are. Whaley. And where's Finley? I don't think Finley's here. Um, yeah, Finley. Helmsman, he's over there. He's not in anything. Okay. They're all up here. You just threw a spear, which is pretty awesome. Leonid? Yeah. You threw a spear at that guy. You're trying to spear this guy. <clears throat> what do you have in your hand? You're gonna do something, aren't you? You got like a bottle or something. Last part. Wrong place. Ten people were present, including any of our guys? Yep. Charles and Way. Ah, Finley. Okay, these are the three. These are the three I need to know. What happened to? So Rosen's mate. Last stand here. He's going to get that guy on the opposite side.
Oh. Finley. You are getting captured, my friend. Steering the ship. Okay, so that's what happened to you. But where is Way? Oh. <clears throat> Martin. Okay. somebody 10 10 people it's one that's two one two three four five six seven eight nine ten but one of them is way but where's way Climbing to. Oh, yeah, you're gonna get got. Okay, so you got got. Um, Max burned, clawed, clubbed, crushed. Not really. Decapitated, drowned, eaten, electrocute, expired. Loaded, fell. Rose, illness. Killed, knifed, poison shot, speared, spike, strangled. Struck. Nope. So I think. I think they all fell overboard. Okay. Yep. Gave me two, huh? So, Charles Minor. I don't know what happened to you, but I know that Finley probably fell overboard to his death. Philip Dahl can't do anything about. Anything about him, Charles Minor? Crushed by a beast. Okay, I'm gonna say they both fell overboard. All currently solvable fates. I can't believe we've gotten this far. There's a 
there's nothing left to do in the Oberdin. Oh my gosh. There's nothing left to do. Oh my gosh. I was going to end the stream, but now I need to know. I'm leaving. Otterfill in chat says, Charles Miner was technically torn apart by the beast in the later dialogue. The Bozen asked about his Frenchman. They say he was torn apart. But the game accepts multiple fates. Uh... The Honorable East India Company, um, insurance assessment for the good ship Oberdin, victim calamitous events at sea, prepared by the company Office of Investigation. Ship damage in Squall, Atlantic, sunken storm, Falmouth, payout claim, 20,000 pounds. Cargo, all cargo lost, payout, 5,000 pounds. Cargo crown. Uh, all cargo lost, payout claimed, and restitution, 3,000 pounds, Captain Robert Witterall, suicide gun, criminal findings, murder of crewmates for estate fortified to the crown, William Hoskett, first mate, fate shot with a gun by the captain, uh, attempted mutiny, <laughs> estate fine, 25 pounds, Edward Nichols, second mate, fate shot, by one of the Formosans, murder of two crewmates, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, estate, find a hundred, third mate, don't know what happened to him, extraordinary valor, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded outstanding wages, okay, uh, John Davies, clubbed, murdered somebody, fine 15 pounds for that, the bosun, Exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded 70 pounds. This is interesting. Uh, Charles Minor, here we go. Fell overboard. Um, murder of crewmate one. Expense claimed. Abandonment of crew and vessel. Estate awarded outstanding wages. Captain of the Beast, extraordinary valor. Winston, extraordinary valor. Marcus, extending wages, donated to pension fund. Cook got wages. Emil, the butcher, had exceptional performance of duties. The gunner, exceptional performance of duties. Gunner's mate, murder of crewmate, attempted mutiny. Duncan, abandonment of crew and vessel. Finley, estate warded. No claim made for Abigail. No claim made for Nunzio. Abandonment crew and vessel for Emily and Bird. Uh, Mrs. And Mrs. Lim, no claims. Murder of one, murder of one. No claim made. Failure to perform duties. Some of the duties, state warded. Samuel attempted mutiny, theft of cargo. Did James abandon the crew? No right, extraordinary valor. Let's see, do I need to read all these? <clears throat> okay. Preliminary captain's assessment has been approved by the Royal Trade Guarantor. Uh, total claimed, almost 30,000 pounds. On behalf of the Honorable PC and Company, I certify all saves accurate to various men. Okay. 
<clears throat> Sign my name there. My, my kitten is crying. Black Watch remains in possession. The book returns to its original owner, Henry Evans in Morocco, as requested. One year later. Oh, whoops. I thought it was in story time, but apparently. Happening. Can you believe it? A package at this hour. Oh, the thing smells just dreadful. Better you don't open it inside. I'll be turning in now. Tea's in the kitchen if you need more. Okay. Chief Inspector, I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Obra Din is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter in our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. Okay. Okay. What is this? Oh, boys. I can't get into something right now. Alright. I know it's going to sound crazy, but... Do I need to end the stream? Like, how much... Otterfield, do you know how much more there is? Is there enough for me to stream something else? Or can I sort of call it quits here? Because I gotta kind of have to go. But I feel weird about ending here. <clears throat> if there's only like five minutes. Oh, dude, I don't want no artifact. Uh, maybe not five, but less than 30. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. <clears throat> Thanks. Thanks for that. That's awesome. Um, oh. Okay. Can we look at the book really quick? This tale belongs to you now. Please finish it. Henry Evans. Okay. Oh, hey. It's my book. Anything new in this book? I thought the bargain chapter was going to be opened up to me. Oh, here we go. There you are. Collect your things. Where's the key? To that door. Gone. Yeah. There's no time. We need to go. Right. Here you go. What are you up to? Nothing good. What the? Oh, Henry Evans. You killed somebody. Oh, his his monkey. What is this? Oh no, the third mate. 
mate. You got, you got spiked. What was that? Oh god. Monkey's paw. In the last right, a friendly but not an entirely pleasant monkey companion was sacrificed in pursuit of knowledge. There you are, collect your things. Wait, where's the key to that door? Oh, and damn, it's no time we need to go. Right, in you go. What the? So who was here? Surgeon. First mate. No, he was he was obviously spiked.
Charge will be fought against this jailer and was speared for the trouble. Thought you were there. Captain's going nuts, dude. What happened to you? One other person was present. Send me back. The unholy creature's defiant shrieks were greeted with a fatal bullet. Okay. Locked off Lazar with those things. There's still a shell in here. Just like that other dude that he burned from the power, man. Awesome. That's cool. I like how they sort of give you the, the last two people that you couldn't figure out. And then you can figure out like what happened there. So that's cool. They went back in there. The captain went nuts. He made a deal um, with the beast, gave him the shell, threw him overboard, and then like, was like, no more crack it and then make sure that our ship gets home. 
crazy, dude. What a really good game. I feel completely satisfied. That was awesome. So that took me about a little bit over 14 hours to do the whole thing in six episodes. I think that's pretty dang good. Um, thank you so much for everybody watching. Um, Honorphil says, and that's why you could see that sparkling thing uh, out of the sea when you're on the overdid. The merpeople take it home. Ah! This was, yeah, this was great. Um, I can't believe that, like, one dude did this game. Like, that was really sort of incredible storytelling. Never played a game like this before. Um, so, thank you so much for the suggestions, everybody. Uh, Chris gifted this to me on Steam and was basically like, I think you'd like it. I'm so glad I started playing it. It's really great. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, really awesome. Gosh, I love, I think I love games like this. This That was like so enjoyable. And um, there were certain parts in the middle where I felt like maybe I hit walls, but what was nice is to stop the stream, you know, take a week break, come back with fresh eyes, and sort of just go through it again. I, I just think it's so cool that you can go back through the past memories and Every single time, you disc you almost see something new uh, that you haven't seen before. Or as you start to get more information, then it starts to make more sense, um, you know. And so today was like the big day, I think, for me putting like a lot of assumptions together from the information that I've gotten so far. So, Otterfield says, I missed some of your stream. Uh, how did you get the Chinese Topman? Uh, that was the hardest part for me. Um, so, I had a comment in one of my YouTube comments. Um, um, in one of my YouTube comments that said, hey, you can totally mark people as unknown with their job. And so this this morning, basically, I started going through and I went through that one storyline where like that dude got electrocuted and they're all on the top. And I started to figure it out. And then I kind of brute forced um, two of them. And so I was like, one of like, there was like one of three that this guy could be to, to be electrocuted, right? And so I had two other in the, um, two other fates in the bag. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this one. And it ended up being right. And so then I had two Chinese topmen left and I was like, well, it's 50-50, right? So as soon as I got to a third fate kind of thing, I tried one of them, it was wrong. And then I tried the other one, I think. So um, I do like the fact that um, they let you, test at in threes um so hold on let me uh let me get the game audio out of here which is beautiful by the way the game audio is so good um in this game all right um Otterfell says okay you can actually tell by their footwear uh, between that and the one when they are on, all in the hammocks. The one where they're all in the hammocks, man, ended up giving me a lot of information um, that I totally missed the first time around when I went through that storyline. The numbers in the hammocks, um, the tattoo in the guy's arm. Um, I totally didn't... T I Like, the footwear part totally was... went over my head. Didn't even notice um, that they were wearing uh, specific footwear. But... Um, you know, I wouldn't say that it was like the most perfect run. Uh, again, Otterfield is saying that the, that the game accepts multiple fates for people. Um, completely right about the one about the the boson's mate. Or, uh, yeah, the boson's mate, the Frenchman. It's like, oh, he was torn apart. They said that in dialogue, right? But they didn't show it. So, um, but, you know, I put, I put that he fell overboard and they accepted that as well. So there is a little bit of you know, getting 80, 85% there in your mind and then having to choose the right fate and doing little tests when you have uh, two fates in the bag and then you can test a third fate kind of thing. I like that there's an ability to sort of move forward that way as well. So you don't get completely stuck, right? Um, in this game, it seems like you need, you still need a lot of information 
to make educated guesses like that. Um, so I felt like at certain points I got enough information. And today, I think was the most um, most of that kind of stuff in in the stream so far. Um, so I've been pretty not brute forcing as much in previous streams because I didn't want to like mess up my log. <laughs> um, but I think today's stream just trying to figure out who's who and just I I didn't even think I was gonna finish today. I really wanted just I, I literally the goal in my head when I started the stream was like identify who the top men and the seamen were. That like <laughs> like that was it. Um and man did that conductor who I thought was the purser for so long and he was really the gunner's mate really really screwed me for for a while um so it is interesting where you get caught up um but love the story love how the mechanics worked if you guys have any recommendations for games that are similar to this that i should check out maybe stream let me know um if you're watching on youtube and you enjoyed this run please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments yeah and let let me know in the comments um games that you recommend if you are not part of our discord and you want to be discord.gg slash critcam and then you can make recommendations there as well um but thank you so much for everyone who joined me super enjoyed this don't be surprised if i play games similar to this uh going forward if i can find them um i thought this one was great highly highly recommend uh it's kind of rough because i'm recommending you play this game but if you have been with me since the beginning then you know the outcome and it's hard for you to play this game but um I am I am extremely pleased, like very delighted, very pleased with this. And uh, I hope you guys were too. Um, I think I'm going to get out of here. Um, and yeah, thanks again for uh, playing with me and uh, just hanging out. And I'll see you next time. Bye.